Praise the Lord. Praise His mighty name. I'm Reverend Victoria Gladys Wells in Columbia for Kingdom International Fellowship. I say, stay blessed, my dear friend. God loves you. By His grace, you shall be blessed. His anointing shall always be upon you. Today, I want to talk to you about something that is very touching. Hallelujah. Suffering in the land. A lot of people are complaining that they are suffering. You get phone calls upon phone calls. People say things. People do things because of suffering. Now, when you look at that word suffering, it did not start today. Go read 1 Corinthians 15, 21. My dear friend, suffering, suffering started ever since. Suffering is a product of the fall, the sin that Adam and Eve committed long years. The consequences of the human sin against God. Read 1 Corinthians 15, 21. It will tell you about that. And that suffering that you are going through today, today maybe you want to read again on the book of Matthew 24, 6 to 8. It is talking about suffering. Then you will see what I'm trying to talk about. Suffering in the kingdom. You see, kingdom fighting against kingdom. Family fighting against family. Problem at the job and everywhere. Neighbors fighting neighbors. Land problem, you name it. And because of all of this problem going on, earthquakes, tornadoes, you name it. Heavy rainfall. It's all suffering in human race. It did not start today. It starts way right from the beginning. That's where that suffering started. And it is spilling down to your own generation and to... And to my own generation. In the book of Romans 8, 18. It says the Apostle Paul reminds us that our present suffering are not, look at the word, are not comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. Today, because of this so-called suffering that people say they are going through, they are involving in so many trouble, too much wahala. A lot of them, they, they go join occultism so that they'll get quick money. Because maybe a child loves his or her mother and he want to build a house for them. They go put on in occultism. At the end of the day, they die young and their soul is suffering. They want to help raise brothers and sisters because maybe papa die, leaving mama. Mama can't educate all the kids suffering in the land. Heavy downfall of climatic conditions. Making people to suffer because when you struggle, you build your little house, and then now maybe tornado destroy all, rain I mean, destroy everything. Suffering in the land is making people dip their hands into what they did not think of doing, and this is becoming very sad of late. The amount of people involving in witchcraft. Some people they go say initiate me. I'm tired of suffering. And at the end of the day, they say your, 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 your own child that you suffer to give birth to, pay that child. Because you want to become rich overnight. Some people are not suffering, no, but they are just evil. Their bloodline inside their, their blood is full of witchcraft. So they will have gods to sacrifice their own kids. Kill them, stab them, pay the blood to devil. You will answer someday. Don't worry, you can never go free. There is nothing you do on earth that you will go free. Even the Bible says it. You will go answer someday, somehow. You will answer to it. You will answer for that behavior. Suffering is making people do what they, they, are, they were not imagining to do. And they live with that guilt and that conscience. You will see family fighting family because they think maybe you, you are well off and I am not well off. So they want to grab that spirit of grabbing collecting for me they have that me attitude that selfish attitude i attitude and it has caused a whole lot of lot of family feud a whole lot of family embarrassment what the great grandparents have, have have been holding on to some family if they tell you what they are holding on to hey blood of jesus some people they have more than 10 barrels of demons they are worshiping and when they die the death toll don't tell them when they are coming. They leave all of that that's your job for the present generation. They're busy fighting each other. This now, wow. If some people tell you what is going on in the family, it's a problem. Put causes on people. You cannot marry. You cannot have children. You cannot. It is you cannot. You cannot. You cannot. You cannot. Suffering in the land. 
Shama kalaka la kanda hindi. Uma la kalaka la shili mi kalaka la kanda hindi. I said that God will have mercy and the table will turn around so that the glory of God will shine upon your life so that anointing will flow into you and you live a better life. Because suffering, people are, 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 the devil is using people because of suffering, give them hardship, hard time, and they're even involving into drugs that is turning them to zombie. You see why a lot of people are rushing to come to a board? Because they make a board, not that all is well in a board, they make a board in a way that the, 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 the poor man should be able to, to, to eat at least basic food. You, can, you, you too, you can eat chicken like the rich man. You can drink milk like the rich man. So if you can go buy your $1 milk, at least you're having some sum of protein. One dozen egg, $1, you're having some sum some of protein. That's why everybody wants to come aboard and they are doing everything possible to come here. Because of the way they design for the rich and the poor. But in some parts of the world, they are not designing for the rich and the poor. They design for them who are stealing all the money, who are having access to all the money, to live right up there and forget about the poor man. So the poor man they are involving, and when they involve, then the problem comes back to the so-called rich people who are controlling the nation because they have to take care of all those issues that is going on in the country. Because those issues going on with those people, they are the people that you have to govern. And when everybody turns to Zoom, who are you going to, to govern? Shame you see, in Abo, they pay money two times for the month. Take, for example, okay, Abo is not like some parts of, of, of the world. In, in the sense of the, the dollar rate, the pound sterling, the euro and all. But, for example, if you want to pay somebody $100 for the whole month, when you change the exchange rate in some country, that is a chicken change. It cannot even feed you for, for, for two weeks. Help the people. Pay them twice a month. That hundred dollar pay them like the fifth hundred dollar, and then after the fifth, the the next week or the next week, the other two weeks to end the the, the the month, you give them another hundred dollar. That is making two hundred dollar for the whole month. But some people are even having fifty dollars for the whole month, thirty or thirty one days. How are they going to live? So at least that first two weeks money, you'll be able to do buy food like a bag of rice, a gallon of palm oil. Um, um, one one and um, gallon of, of cooking oil, sugar, this and that and that, that you can even make small, little, little, little for the family for the month. You take that first two weeks money, shop for the for the house. And then the second two weeks money, keep for house rent. If you are not paying per month, be saving it, you pay once a year. Maybe life will be better. That's how they do it in some countries. They pay you twice a month. So that money they split for you into two. The first two weeks they give you half. The other two weeks they give you half and increase the money a little bit. What if they they are giving you fifty dollars for a whole month? Women now they go into prostitution to make their, their their kids have school fees because that's one money for the month. Maybe it's the only daddy that is working in the house, and maybe the mother is working in the house, or maybe the daddy move around and have little business to turn around for the wife. So suffering is there, and because the suffering is there, the next thing is. They begin to go to this Baba, initiates me into your shrine. And this is where all the problem is coming from. Even pastors, they are begging to initiate them into the shrine because when they, they start their church, people just can't afford to give you offering and tithe. And you want to buy a land you, you can't afford. You want to pay um, the church rent you can't afford. And you yourself, from that little tithe and offering, you have to eat. There too, they go say, Baba, initiates me and then they give you conditions so that come follow me we'll follow you have a lot of church members and at the end of the day you find out that you have made a serious mistake and the suffering also is that you have churches that are really established when i'm telling you established the church is huge that you walk from from back to front the rooms the the the, the, the space are there but this is not occupied because you don't have that type of congregation. Huge building. You will be walking and looking all around to say, ah, some churches you take elevator and then you go upstairs. And you see room, 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 a big hall. Nobody to say even you 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 rent out that, that small space, they will pay the church something, and you use that up space for church in a board. Some churches are so huge and they do not have the congregation. And they because they don't have the congregation, they need to raise that money to repair that hugeness. They have to paint. They have to change those roofs. They have to change railings. 
are so there is suffering everywhere so people are getting involved because of suffering i pray dear jesus that you take away suffering when israel was in the hand of pharaoh suffering 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 in egypt suffering until they left that wicked land crossed the red sea and go and then they started their own life they were still going through turmoil that's suffering it's way from the beginning god says you wait ungratefulness i've helped you and you prove ungrateful to me so ungratefulness is what is making us suffer today but the days are coming declares the sovereign lord when i will send a famine to the land not a famine of food or a thirst for water but a famine of hearing the word of the lord so that's why this is happening so he who have ears let him hear too much problem now everybody is finding where they should push their head in for greener pasture and also that spirit of deceitfulness is becoming way too ramp rampant people are just evil they are just wicked the witchcraft and demonic life they are living they go involve other people to mess them up and the order of the day now is that even when you know that this person is not ordinary this is what this person is doing you have people who say no i don't believe oh i don't think so eh, 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 eh. it is not true when it is true even when god shows you things that this is what is going on you have people who tell you i don't believe maybe they are afraid of them let them not come for them at night so even when the truth is there the truth turns to a no 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 it is not psalm 91 is talking to you today my dear friend the suffering in the land we pray that suffering will go and i don't know how much of this suffering that will go because it is getting worse and worse the people who are rich are rich the people who 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 are poor are getting poorer yeah because they say he who dwells in the shelter of the most high will rest in the shadow of the almighty i will say to the lord hallelujah that is going to be your refuge my dear friend it's going to be your fortress as you listen to me and it's going to be the god in whom you shall trust so even when the enemies the fowlers snare to devour you the noisome pestilence they will become powerless power in jesus name a lot of people who have given birth to their kids they are crying they are crying because of the suffering people have gone to us you see even people who are, 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 are in the university trying to further their education to be somebody so when they come out you have a good job even when they come out they are not hiring them it's a waste of time and you are owing student money you are owing money exodus 23 26 say you should serve the lord serve him the, the problem is becoming way too much of late and i pray that the hand of the lord will be upon you at this moment so that this thing called suffering let jesus christ put it to silence let better pastures come so that they will, they will top up salary of, of people and then they'll be paying them not just once a month. Maybe they split in some countries. Some countries are already giving salary twice a month. It is better because at least you will say, I mean, these first two weeks, I program my money like that. If mama is bringing something, papa is bringing something, then you put things together to run the home and take care of the kids. And the next two weeks, you put things together, mama put, papa put, you pay the rent and do other things and keep little things to buy your, your little panadol. But some countries are just not designing the cost of living like that. You just give them one money for the month. One money. And that money is so little that they cannot even feed for, for two days. The suffering is, 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 is leading to bitterness and bitterness for others who even when they are helping you because your problem is so high, they cannot afford to be giving you. Give me, give me, give me, give me because they have their own life to take care of. So this is the problem about suffering. So people, they hate you, they make you an enemy because they, now you have to be giving them all the time. Kring, 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 kring. They torment your life. So people they even go voodoo you so they will torment you so that you'll be giving. All because of suffering. And how many people are you going to give? How many people are you going to help? Now, wow. I pray that this thing called suffering will have an answer to it. I don't know how best, but we are praying and we'll continue to pray that that thing called suffering Will go away he said when you suffer you should sit alone in silence in, in patience and ask god 
how you gonna take away these things that is bringing suffering to you maybe you have been praying you don't actually know what to do where to turn to and how to get rid of this problem some people are even becoming afraid to travel now because when you travel a little money that you walk you have your own problem where wherever you are you cannot even eat good food. You cannot even go and rest and sleep. People are coming, knock, knock, kong, kong, bong, bong. Because of, they are in need. You see? We, the, the people are suffering. They have to bow down in submission. And to have hope. So that better days will come. But how is that better days going to come in when you do not design their salary, at least for them to manage and eat good food? And even with some people, even if you pay them two, $200 in some countries for one, for two weeks, and then another $200, it will still not be enough because they waste. Even if you pay them $1,000 for two weeks, it's a waste. Because suffering is there. They don't, they don't enjoy the money alone. They have to send to, to this, to that, to that, to that, to that. And you cannot satisfy everybody. And some people have the money. They have the way they spend it. They take good sum of money from, from the government, they destroy it in one day when the poor people are in the masses of, of the hands of God. I pray, Jesus, we look into this world called suffering, Papa, so that you will help us to take away this suffering from us. Because if you see people are calling, cring, 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 sometimes I get fed up. It is because of suffering. Because if they have, they don't need yours. Suffering is making people do what they don't want to do. I pray the anointing of God will take away this problem. So that better days will come in the lives of people. So they will dance and celebrate and give testimony to you. Some people, they come to church and they are the best dancers. They dance, they hold their legs, all this stylish dancing that is coming now in church. But some, some of them, not even a cup of tea has gone inside their stomach. And these are the people who worship God more than those who, who have a very big place to eat every blessed day in their lives. And they cannot say, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. And now unto God the Father, God the Son, God the ever blessed Spirit, rest, remain, and abide with you. Whatever I do with your hands, may it be blessed. Whatever I do with your feet, may anointing of God be upon it. And rest upon you and your family in Jesus' precious name. Amen.